Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, guys, what's going on? It's your boys from Two Dudes One Basement, the podcast. Yes. This is our tap it and crack it side hustle, where we tap beers, we crack them, and we put them in our mouth. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know which, what better way to put it. I don't know. I like to tickle as I drink. Oh, I know you do. Mm. Mm. Smitty, how you doing, bud? I'm doing good. How are you? Good, good. Um, Man, we just... uh <clears throat> still sitting here, <laughs> but we just got done uh, last episode doing the Nelly's Winter um, Sweet Orange Ale, which was actually really good. I'm not going to lie. Taft never has let me down. It, even the key lime pie was okay, but it wasn't what I expected. So they do a good job over there. Keep up the good work, guys. But today, what do we have? This was a you pick. I picked this one. Yes, I did. This comes at us from 50 West, another local-ish brewery out of uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, the west side. <sighs> Spiced ale. So, yeah, what we have is the Christmas cookie winter warmer. I don't know, it just sounds good to me. It does. Uh, I, well, the thing is, is I like ginger. I'm okay with vin- the vanilla. It's so good. I, um, I, you know what? You can actually, I can make a phone call. I can drink vinegar straight. But. Uh, <laughs> I, like, I like vinegar. Mm. I like vinegar it. chips. Yes, buddy. Yes, we know no. all about it. Salt and vinegar chips. It's got to be a sweet day. Uh, vanilla, the nutmeg, and the only thing that gets me is I don't like cinnamon. Are you serious? I don't like cinnamon. I don't like big red. I don't like cinnamon anything. Well, I don't either, but I, mean, I don't. I think this is going to be more of a cinnamon sugar, though. Well, then that's different. Like when you get that cinnamon sugar flavor to it, it's actually. So let's go with Smitty's can review because he always loves a good can. First and foremost, it's got that awesome just silver can, the polished silver, and I does. think this is kind of becoming a. I think it's kind of becoming a, right a norm. For these local breweries, it's probably, I mean, I'm not trying to say they're cheap or anything. It's probably easy. But it's probably a hell of a lot more money saver for them just to get some labels printed. Yeah. Keep the silver can. They don't have to worry about printing all these crazy designs on the can. They get some labels, and it's absolutely beautiful. And they, they, I love the matte labels. I that's really what, do love matte labels. That's what Dan does down there at Swine City. Oh, yeah. The, just yeah. the basic. Yeah, he'll, he'll, you know, hit you with can. Slap a label right on it. Yeah, good and call. It's, it's a Swine City Brewery yeah, shout out. Fairfield, Ohio. One, one of our faves. One of our definite faves. Um, well, I did notice a little something because I always like to uh, really check out the can, and I'm only guessing because Cincinnati is known for the flying pig that the barcode is kind of in the shape of a pig. Is it a pig or a bus? Mm. I'm kind of maybe going with... I'm thinking pig. I'm thinking pig. I'm just fucking with you, buddy. <laughs> because if you look up here in the sky in the can, there is a flying pig. There is, right there. But it also looks like a pterodactyl, and there's a man kayaking. Oh, look, no, there's a bus right there. Look. There is the bus. Bus, pig, it's up for debate. And Doc from fucking Mike Tyson's punch out <laughs> thinks <of> it. <laughs> Uh, but no, I really do like the can. Uh, it's very simple. It's all the... See, here's the thing with these cans, man, these local brewery cans. You know, they're not massively commercialized. You right. know what I mean? So you're not getting, like... We all know, like, the iconic, very over-commercialized beers. Like, Budweiser's that classic red and white. Yeah. Bud Light's that real shiny blue yeah. can. And, yeah. you know, Coolers has that... Tap the Rockies. Yeah, you know... We and, all know it. Yeah, we all know them, you know, and Bush has the almost kind of the rocky look to it, but it's more of the country, like a wilderness beer style. Well, you know, while we're talking commercialized beers, what uh, I, one of the logos that have, that went back to old school, Miller Lite, I love that they went back to the old look. Yes. Um, actually, I have collected the last two years they, when they re-put out the champagne bottles. And I don't know if anybody's actually... Well, you're there. talking Miller High Life. I'm talking your standard. Oh, the Miller, yes. Because, yeah. you know, they had the fancy cans there for a while. They said it was going to be a limited engagement of going back to the big L-I-T-E can. Okay, I know, yes, I get it. But it was so popular, they stuck with it. Well, yeah, I mean, well, you got to think, remember, like, well, I mean, even if this is a non-alcoholic, it was, it was Coke. Like, Coke had that block letter 
can at one point where it was just said Coke. Yeah. And then it went back to that original curvy spelled out like Coca-Cola on the, you know. You know what I loved was the old Mountain Dew cans. Yes, this is not my favorite. That's not my jam. That's not my jam on the Mountain Dew cans. And did so. you know that Mountain Dew is secretly code for tit sweat? Hmm. No, but I know that it is actually probably one of the best mixers for liquor. Uh <laughs> I've noticed. How do we go from tit sweat to mixers? Come on, this was supposed to be a, a pitch point. Like, oh yeah, we're dirty, but no, we're edgy. Because I didn't know that it was called tit sweat, and you Booms. dropped that knowledge on me. Damn it, Smith. But, okay, so let me ask you a question: Where did it come into? I mean, I get it. Are we talking dude tits or like chick tits? Chick tits. Okay, then I get the Mountain Dew. I get it. I totally understand it now. Okay. Okay. I thought you were talking like dude sweat. Like, well, well, it lost. It's okay. It's okay. <sighs> no, it's uh, but now going back to vintage cans, I saw Old Milwaukee has started releasing their vintage cans, and they are sweet. You know, I think it, it, here, like, hear me out. It's like the vintage stuff back then. The cans never they never really grabbed you with the can itself. Exactly. It was back in you know the they were more they were more allowed of like a product placement in mag like. Playboy and Hustler and, you know, magazines and, you know, stuff like that to where it was more like a product placement of like a cool dude drinking, you know, a Milwaukee's Beast. Yeah. And to your stuff, you're like, I want to be like that guy. I want to be, I want to be the Marlboro man. Uh, yeah, exactly. And I think like that's why Marlboro's probably sold, considering <laughs> we're not going to say it because everybody wanted the Marlboro points. I can't <laughs> wait to die of lung cancer. Yes, this guy. This guy is Awesome. Camel Joe. Camel Joe. Yes. You see what I mean? It's like yeah. such simple. I mean, and I think. Works. Spuds McKenzie. <sighs> but wait, can we just do this on a podcast itself? Product placement. Get product. Yeah, I, <laughs> iconic product placement. Iconic product placement. Holy, you know what? That's a topic we could put into Two no. Dudes, One Basin podcast. Yes, ah. the Two Dudes, One Basin podcast. So, but while we're here. But getting back to the beers, I yeah. think that's what I love about these uh, locally brewed guys. They don't have to worry about commercializing. Yes. Uh, each and every beer that they create it's comes unique. up with its own unique label, its yep. own unique style. And I think that's what kind of draws me to more and more of these beers as we go on to the Agreed. Tavern. Yeah, that's because, yes. yeah, you know, I was, I was a craft guy in the early thousands. Okay. And, you know, back then you were a fucking nerd. But wore cabbie hats and called yourself Queeves. Queeves! Queeves. No, don't yell too loud. He'll come running. He'll come running. No uh, Queeves. No Queeves. Back up. Stay up there. Uh, uh, but yeah, I. But that was always one of the big draws to me was what the can looked like. I'm like, that has to be a kick-ass beer. How could it not be with the can looking that cool? Or yes. Bottle. Or, or, or whatever, whatever it may yeah, be. Yeah. Exactly. No, I totally get it. Um, well, you want to get into this? <laughs> 50 West Christmas cookie. We're gonna give, oh, 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 shot, man. <laughs> Do we need a beer? We need the beer towel. I'm not getting that much of a smell from it. Are you? Hmm. It's darker. Yeah. It's... This is the worst part for me. <laughs> pouring, pouring. <laughs> Tell me if you just give it a nice little round of swirl. You know, here's it. the thing was, was it was one of those things. Here's the thing was. Where <laughs> I was tired. We get the wizard. Like, Peter I'm Peter. all about just tap it, crack it, slam it, and then give it a good taste. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was Ryan Miles. Yes, that was Dude, Ryan. He was, he our, was a monster. Our guest last week, he was, he was so ready to drink beer. That he didn't even want to tap or crack. He no, was he was just wanting to crack and go, man. He wanted it right in his face right now. And um, Let's see. that was last week. <laughs> this is this week. Um, the one thing is that everyone kept going, well, you, these beers are meant to be poured. Listen, I'm, I got a set of testicles and a beard. <laughs> I don't need to fucking pour anything, all right? If I'm going to drink it, I'm just going to go ahead and drink it. I'm going all in. I'm going. So... I bit into the fucking you gotta pour it, guys. And here you go. Here we are. There we are. It's a little dark. Uh, yeah, it, it's right, more guys. of an amber, a little bit darker amber yeah, color. Yeah, it's 
What's happening? Fuck it. Okay, Here we go. Oh, nope. You don't like it? No. I'm already giving it the fucking... I like it. Yeah, the wizard's in there. I don't know. I'm okay with it. I'm really okay with it. That's a taste. It's, it's like warm. No. Um, I got the cinnamon. It does not taste like a Christmas cookie. No. It tastes like Christmas ass. <laughs> Well then, call me, <laughs> call me the ghost of Analingus Past, because I'm gonna eat that ass. The greatest fucking line. <laughs> oh, I could not repeat that if you tried. <laughs> I'm the ghost of Analingus Past, and I'm gonna eat that ass. <laughs> Guys, you know what? I give the 50 West Christmas cookie, uh, I give it a, a solid three thumbs up. I enjoy it. I'm going my, like, my counterparts are, they're I'm making two, faces I'm all over the place. Star it. I'm sorry. It's, it's, man, it's, Steve's not a cinnamon guy. Here's the thing. I, I am it, not, man. I won't take anything away from 50 West, right? This isn't about, I understand these guys brew multiple, multiple beers. Mm-hmm. It just so happens that this one beer is not the one for me. Well, this is our first 50 West. Is yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. So as far as 50 West itself, the Christmas cookie is not your bag, baby. Not my bag. I enjoy it. It's got a nice warm but not too heavy uh, I mean, I'll give mouth. It I'll You're going to finish it. Oh, I'll finish it, but I'm just saying. You're going to fucking finish it. Well, the ghost of Analing this past is coming back. <laughs> I was hoping to make him spray. Steve, Jesus. Well, the thing is, I'm not sipping it. <clears throat> True. And that's not going to happen, so I'm not going to sit there and just keep staring at it. Well, you've earned yourself a high life wherever they went. They're on my hip. They're on <laughs> Like a holster. <laughs> yeah, like a holster. <laughs> I'm like, Shh. No. Yeah, I'm like a two. I'm not a big fan. Okay. I'm not, I got you. We know where I'm not a dark beer, like a super, like a dark beer kind of guy anyway. True. So, but you know what though, guys? I don't like the beer too much, but 50 West, you have an amazing can, and uh, I enjoy the can. So. I can see myself sitting somewhere out in the snow drinking this. It's uh, definitely not a summer beer, so they hit it right on the head with the spices uh, surrounding your colder weather. They need to hit in the head for making it. I disagree. I know that. We're I, right. you, but that's the best thing about it. That is the best thing about it. Here, you can drink the wizards. I will drink the wizards, uh, gladly. You can go pour that down the sink if you like. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> pour it down my throat. Ugh. I will not waste beer. I think the, the only thing that would make it better is if like a cream note was in there. Okay, I could Ooh. probably get behind that. Yes. Because it's like a little sweeter. Yes. yes I Throw some lactose in that. It yeah. was more... It just had that dark, just, it, it's, I'm not going to say coffee feel to me. Like, so did you ever drink Newcastle? Mm, I've had like one maybe a long time ago. That's probably why. So. <laughs> that, but, was, that was the first dark beer I had. Really? And I'm sure the craft beer aficionados were like, fucker. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it was darker. I'm sorry. I was like 19, 20, okay? Yeah. Um, I'm just going to go two stars, but I love the can. Two stars on the beer, five stars on the can, if that makes sense. Can I get I behind that, too? Yeah, about 3.5. Well, no, don't give credit to the beer. The oh. beer, that's... <laughs> it's not a bundle deal, wizard, okay? It's a five on the can and two on the beer. That's but, not... but you would have bought it for the can. Yeah. That's what's, I'm not going to lie, that's what sold me. No, yeah. yeah, and the thing is, is like, okay, like we've discussed a bunch of times... We want to try the beers based because on the based on the look of the can. And I think sometimes that can destroy the reactions of when you crack them and you pour them and you go, oh, God, buddy, they don't look too good. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, but, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean? A, a dollar, like a spoon of vanilla ice cream in that. Oh, yeah. Oh. Like that. Yeah. Like I say, throw some lactose into that beer and you'll be good to go. Yeah, something to kind of... Like you, bring you that sweetness nice back. Appetite. It is just, like, it's just... Ugh. 
why is it spicy? It's not even spicy. <laughs> it's kind of, it feels fucking dry. Really? Yeah, it, there's no, okay. like, it's a dryness for me. Like, you drink it and there's no, like, like, man, that's, you know, you get that, but it's just like, <laughs> so. Fair enough. You, you drank it, though. Well, because I am not, I was a half a bitch once, and I will never be another half a bitch. If it's, if it's one thing we can say about Smitty, guys, he ain't going to be no bitch. I'm not going to be a bitch. I was a bitch once, and I will never do it again. But you were also, you were turned inside out from... Yeah, that shit fucked me up, and I was very unprepared for that type of damage. <laughs> fucking twitchy. Actually, I think if you look up twitchy, I think it's actually called, like, twitchy bitch. I think if you, and again, I'm not the, if you go onto the app and you look, I think it's actually like labeled as like twitchy bitch. I think if I'm, I mean, I'm not dogging it out, but I think it's like twitchy bitch or something like that. It's, wow. Okay. So, but uh, yeah, so uh, it is. Yeah, twitchy bitch. No kidding. Yeah. Huh. Fifty <laughs> West Christmas cookie winter uh, warmer. Not a huge fan. I am a fan. He's a fan. I'm not, but I love the can. Yeah, guys, you know, uh, 50 West is a local brewery. Uh, brewery? Brewery. 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 Unity. Boo. So uh, go check them out. They do have a tap house, tap room. Um, I don't know if they're open right now due to COVID. COVID. Damn. COVID. So, but yeah, I would, I, I would say give it a shot. But that's me. Yeah, uh, well, give all beers a shot, guys. Give all beers a shot, because you know what? There might be a darker beer somewhere out, which actually there is a darker beer, which is Father Kyle's Cinnamon Roll, which was given to me by our boss at one point, Kevin Monroe. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, the yeah. bottle, I think they only brew it yeah. once a year. Ah, uh, you have to go your with, boss. Yeah, my boss. You're my his boss. boss now or some shit. But, Hello. You got, <laughs> but you have to go stand in line for it, or, and, you have to, and, you know, it's like a limited... <laughs> By um, the bottle's really cool. It's yeah. kind of uh, it's kind of just that classic, cool like little label that they yeah. had for it. And I try started drinking that one a little warm. I mean cold, and it was kind of meh. Mm. But as I let it sit for room temperature and it got a little bit warmer, yeah, you can taste a lot more of that cinnamon roll in it as it got warmer. Well, it's like I don't know if you've been to the Hofbra House, but their their brews there. I prefer them a little warmer. Huh. Huh. See, I've never actually been there. Yeah. It's, it's good stuff. So, but uh, get your half a visa. <laughs> Just give me beer. Just give me beer. But uh, guys, anyway, this is another installment of Tap It and Crack It. Uh, we want to thank everybody who has been liking all of the content we've been putting out. We are trying to explore on all realms of social media, but our main one is right here on Facebook where we have our Two Dudes, One Base and Craft Beer Review videos. Uh, we have our huh, group, uh, and we have our main page, which pretty much puts up um, the podcasts, any type of individual videos that we put up, yeah. uh, post pictures, you know, stuff like that. And so, our GoFundMe. Yes, plug it, plug it. You know, we, we want to get better. We um, do want to get better, guys. You know, we, we need a couple things, and this stuff... Stuff isn't cheap, you know. We're, I mean, our, our beer, our beer tab is usually about thirty dollars a week. Yeah, yeah. close um, to. We would love some new equipment, and you know, we're both fathers. Yeah, we're nothing special. This isn't our job. <laughs> no, it's not. We, we aim for it to be. We aim for this. We to would be love for it to job. be our full time job. But to do that, you know, we're always going to be need to make an improvements, and you know. I think a couple good studio mics would work great for us. And, Beautifully. You know, uh, we do have a GoFundMe page, which can be found on our main page. Or we will have the wizard put link in bio for this video. We will have the wizard put it in. Uh, yeah, So sure. that way it's tied into this video. Guys, we're not, this isn't one of those things where we're begging it. We are just saying, hey, if you guys are enjoying our content, we are looking to make it better. We want to make this something where everyone's enjoyable for enjoyable Absolutely. for everybody. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, a dollar, whatever, would be awesome. Yeah, if they want to see a beer. Yes. If you guys want to see a beer, the GoFundMe can possibly go towards buying more beer that you guys want to see. Yeah. Um, so, thanks again for joining us for Tap It and Crack It. I'm oh, Steve. Yeah. I'm Chris. And we're going to give some bones, and we're out. We'll see you next time, guys.